Welcome back, guys, to the Bear Podcast Show, episode 14, with me, Sean Scullion, a.k.a. The Handsome Stranger, Owen, a.k.a. The Bear, Aiden, behind the scenes, the face for radio, and with us today, we have Mr. Glenn... Gordon. Gordon. Hello, thank you for having you? me on. I'm Glenn. all good, I'm good. all good. It's good to have you up here. Thank I, you I so just much. love the way Glenn rolled in, the coat, the, the, I was like... Boom, the man's have here. The you have, voice. There's a presence about you, Glenn. There definitely is. You have to have good energy. Well, it wasn't like that in the car on the way over. I was half asleep. <laughs> so it was a couple of Red Bulls. Well, I've had two, two months through the day. I can't have any more. <laughs> <laughs> so, Glenn, uh, we've brought you up here to the sticks. Uh, we're going to put it over you here. We're going to find out about you. Yeah. What all, Glenn, I have seen online, is it Glenn, Psychic Glenn? Psychic Glenn, yep. So that's going to allude to what you do. But yeah. Who, who's Glenn Gordon? Glenn Gordon is a delinquent, I think. It was born <laughs> in North Belfast and he had ADHD and he was very misunderstood young man. He was and he took him a long time to find his voice and then when he found it all magic started to happen. The ADHD is something people are more prevalent now than they're aware of now but back then yeah. that was something that was going to get beat out of you. It was. You were just a problem child. Definitely, yeah. And people didn't know anything about it then so you were just judged. But I take my medication, I need them, but when I was younger, I didn't really. Saturday. And did you, did, were you diagnosed yeah. when you were younger? When I was here. Oh, so, all oh, right. And then, what way is that? What way is that? What, I know, I know to, to say, ask, what way is that when that's the only way you've been? Or? Sitting in front of the washing machine like that, watching it spin, maybe, or not being able to concentrate. It must have been hard then, you must have felt it like It still is. Some days I still can't concentrate. It's what? hard, like my mind jumps everywhere. I, I, like I, I had to recite lines yesterday because I was filming something and I actually didn't even know what the lines were. I had to like literally do it bit by bit by bit because the second they told me it, my awareness was somewhere else because I was so excited. <laughs> yeah. So do you have to like take yourself away and dial it down and, and sort of say to yourself, right? Break things down just a wee bit. Right. And you're filming? What are you filming? Can we tell? Or are we, I am is there an exclusive here? A project for BBC. I'm not allowed to say what it is yet, but it's going to be really good fun. I know they're not going to pay me to do cards and be sick geek. So they're paying me to do something else, which is going to be good. Brilliant. Good. Brilliant. And we'll, when will we get to see that? Do you know yet? I think next month. Or I think. Hey, they're not messing about. So it's quite quick. So, Glenn, you're. you're in, did you get much bar in school then with ADHD and going? Well, I was expelled from two schools. I did get into a lot of trouble. I remember photocopying a Ouija board that I got from... Mon- <laughs> what? what? <Monster laughs> photocopying a Ouija board? Monster Bob magazine. Remember the ringtones? Remember uh, the hippo yes, and all? That's right. Yes. Uh, what you what I've been doing 20 years ago. So just, just there's, there, there's young ones listening today because I, I'm going to tell you how old I feel at the moment, right? Aiden the other day asked me would I go anywhere to do podcasts and I was like, Nice Pamela Anderson or somebody wanted yeah. this. And he goes, Who, who's Pamela Anderson? And I looked at him and I was like, Have you not seen Baywatch? And he goes, Oh, with the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I goes, For fuck's sake, I'm getting old now. I'm saying things that got so you're talking about ringtones, but it, the, the ringtones. I have no idea what, what remember you used to get it in the newspaper and you used to like pay you paid your Polygonal feet, ringtones. Or you could have happy got, hippo. Or you could have got like the Nike logo on the front of your your knock <laughs> cost you three pounds. Yeah. <laughs> but so you expelled out of two Luigi uh, Luigi board Luigi board. Um, you were photocopying. We just won a couple of boards. Well, they said it was the devil. I'd never had a Ouija board before, and I got it in that magazine, that Monster Mob magazine, and I thought I would photocopy it. That didn't go down well. <laughs> and, and how did that work out for you? They were screaming and all the teachers. Aye, because they said it was the devil. You know, it, it's funny because, right, so it, uh, it, I grew up in, in, in uh, I went to Celtic school and that was definitely, definitely not entertained. Like, that would not have been, like, it would have been like, that's the work of the devil. Like, Aye, that was know. the second school, though. You get kicked out of the first one. Oh, well, right, we're not going that. Well, uh, Glenn went through three. <laughs> <laughs> so I, my, I didn't have anything to blame, Glenn. I was just a wee fucker. But uh, no, so... I did at that point when you're going through the schools, and I don't know about you, but I know when I was messing about and all, I just I thought I was more mature than everyone, and I thought I didn't belong there, and and I couldn't settle, and I needed to get out and 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 get going. I wanted to work, and I wanted to 
Det skulper. Hej det där det så jag. I was just a cunt. <laughs> so, but, and I didn't, I didn't like authority at all, and I used to rebel against it. And then I got into drugs and all too. So it took me a wee while and I have to figure out what I wanted to do. You're the only one I know that got in trouble in school for not taking the drugs. <laughs> well, most, most people got in trouble when they were taking them. Well, so then what? You st- how did you get into what? What do you call? It? What do you call it? So what you know, like fortune telling, fortune telling, fortune telling. But I, it's not like how did you get into like the paranormal? It's, it's not. It's not. It's not like that, isn't it? Well, a wee bit. Right. It is. I did have a ghost in my room when I was really young, and that sort of triggered it all. But again, it all came from asking these questions: Why? Why? What am I? And why? You know what I mean? Uh, you had a ghost in your room. A ghost in my room called Reuben. Reuben. <laughs> and my mum and dad didn't believe me, and then one night it was standing above their bed. So and then then we moved after that. And you you can see you can see and I know now this is the funnier thing about this here. There's a lot of people around here be like, oh, I'm not not dabbling in that, but they've got a cure for a headache or they you know they're okay with some yeah su- or not wise deal, but you know some like oh if the third O'Neill from the third O'Neill you can yeah. you can get a, a cough cure or a teething cough a hundred percent with that. A hundred percent and and like my father in law is the first man if there's something wrong with one of the children. I'll get on the phone and get you a cure for that, right? Yeah. But you start matching Ouija board and you start matching uh, ghosts and all of it. Like, he's Demons. He's way ahead. So the ghost, and, and ha- can you interact? So like, oh, do yeah. they scare you well, or are you... Back then I wasn't afraid of it, no. Definitely not. But I have, I don't really get, well last night actually I got a wee bit, I heard noise and I got a wee bit, all right, don't make you go away. But no, sometimes I interact and sometimes it don't depend on what way I feel. You can interact. I can interact. Right, and did like could you interact with Ruben? I used to have conversations with Ruben, but I can't remember what. It's it's weird for me because I have I have, and I said this to you when we were talking before. I'm open where I've never had a reading. I've never had any. Maybe it's because I'm closed off to it. Maybe it's it's if you close your that part of your mind off, you you, you don't. Yeah. Because you're not seeing it. Yeah. You know, you always have that there, like, oh, or, like, then we feelings, and people are like, that's something telling you. You've got something telling you. Something, yeah. You've got someone telling you something. But seeing all that there, like, is the people that you see in the, pre- you know, is it, that oh, you see it. the present, or you're seeing the past, or what, what, is it a bit of I both? I see a or? lot of the, the, what is now, and it doesn't matter, a lot of people right now are their past, they are their past on a loop, mostly, and it works best with random strangers too, to be honest. You're, you're you're like the beautiful mind here. There's a lot going on. Um, there's there's like there's you're saying like well, we're on this one line. You're 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 both sides of it. Yeah. So what so what is it? What most people the most people come to you if they've lost somebody and they want that well, peace of mind. That or? does happen a lot. A lot of end of life stuff too. Um, people sometimes need help letting go as well. People that are sick. Um, but also people wanting to know about life, where they're going to be next, and what's going to happen next. It's more powerful because you can see what's going on. I sometimes well, think that mediumship's powerful and I love it and it's good, but sometimes it can make it worse. Aye, because sometimes, well, if you know something bad, yeah, you you're burdened with it. Yeah, because you, you it's hard to to talk about death all the time. Aye, and not be affected. And like, do you ever say have, what what is the what is the freakiest thing that's happened that you know? The freakiest thing. Well, yesterday I went down to BBC, but before I went, I went to the garage to get Monster, and there was this girl called Stacey, and I would photographed Stacey's wedding about 10 years ago, and she was working in the garage, and I says, okay, you love her, you blah, blah, blah. I got into my car, and I was thinking Stacey, Stacey, Stacey all day. I went to BBC, I filmed that when I come home, I learned my friend Stacey died. And that was just what happened yesterday, like. And it was like she was trying to tell me that... Fuck. Well, all day, it was weird. The, but So we had put up about... We asked people to write in about any paranormal or, or uh, have they had any, like, with, have they went to psychics? Have they yeah. had, had the thing? But me and Sean attended a function, and Sean will actually tell you better, and this woman explained about, she was also a medium. Yeah. And she had a premonition. She, she had yeah, a so this this was a girl, Tracy, yeah. from England, and uh, she had these visions of um, these kids that were being held yeah. in America. Mm-hmm. And she phoned whoever it was in, yeah. in America, the police, and yeah. says, look, I've had these visions. These children are being held. Yeah. This is where they're at and the whole lot. Yeah. 
and the police went to the house where she said, yeah. and they found the children. So it was all over the news in America. I get you know for being a tight. Have you heard of it? <laughs> I, I, I know who you're too. talking about. I think, do you, do yeah. you know who it is? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. so we, we, we just were chatting away and I was like, no way. But she said it was all over the news in America. Yeah. But because it was America, it wasn't put across yeah. the news here. And I was like, First Jesus. thing that happened was she was going to get questioned on how she knew this. Yeah. And I was like, so if you knew that and, and you had a vision like that, you might not want to come forward because you're going to be straight in the lane, but I'll have to do it get kneecapped. <laughs> well, that's it. I have worked with the police before, but I'm not allowed to talk about it at all. At all, at all, at all. That's one thing I'm not even allowed to mention, really. Go ahead, Glenn. I can't. It's only us I here. absolutely can't. It's only and, us and, here. And, and only if they're really, 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 really stuck. Like, it's dire straits before mm-hmm. they'll even entertain me. But sometimes, and some of the things that I've said has been really bang on. Mm-hmm. Like... I, th- this is a struggle for me And I'm being honest with you As I said to you before I am trying to grow as a character I'm obviously growing anyway But I'm not closing my mind off to anything But this here is hard for me And this is why I actually genuinely We, yeah. we, we like to be outside our comfort zones We want you on I've seen you I've seen you online yeah. And some of the things you said And I'm like it's, I don't get it well, but You, you it, like to be in control a lot You do I And mean, when things are outside of your control You freak out you really, really do. Everything has to be inside the box. I'm in your. T- uh, you're right. I'm no, no. here. So, have so, and then what happens in the flip side of that? Somebody comes looking these answers, and the ones you have aren't going to be good. Do you do you cushion it? Like a it, man came to me the other night in spirit, right? And I did not know what this man wanted. And I usually on a Saturday night would not let some just come in and just. And I thought to myself, all right, come on in, mate. Blah blah blah. So I talked to him, I found out all about him, blah, blah, blah. And he, he waited about, and then the next day the girl that came up was fired. But if I let it, it would just become like a conveyor belt, so I don't let it. Sometimes I have to be like, right enough's enough. It's like, what? Well, if I didn't live by myself, I think I would do it a lot more, probably be on stage doing mediumship, but I could not imagine bringing all them fucking souls home with me. To be honest, no way. I'm going to end up dead if I keep talking to dead. You know what I mean? That... <laughs> But I'm gonna use, I'm gonna say it's a, like powers. Does everybody have these powers as such? Till no, 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 definitely. So not. it's not like no. I'm gonna if I open my mind no. to this. I believe everybody has it, but it's and it's ignited through trauma somehow. I think it's ignited through trauma. It's what you, changes your DNA. You become more alert, uh, more evolved. Mm-hmm. So do, is it? It's not a. It's not a hereditary thing. It's not like oh, my mother well, did this or my father did. My oh. mummy would be a wee bit. My nanny would be. But my nanny says her daddy was very like me. I think in every family, there's like an older auntie or the granny, like a granny or somebody. And they're like, yeah, tea leaves. You know, my granny could, you know, could tell you what sex the baby was. They could yeah. tell you if it was going to rain. And, the, you know, they just... They'd well, I have two cleaners, right? And they're my two cousins. And they've got girls. They've only got girls. And I says, what do you see them waiting hot and foot me? They're waiting on me hot and foot cleaning my house and all. So now every couple of weeks. And I just, because it helps them out, it helps me out too. And they're both pregnant, and one of them's down there, it's a boy, and I know the other one's a boy too. I hope they're not watching it. (laughs) (laughs) I hope their partners aren't watching this. And I'd say, and I was getting the morning sickness feelings and all, but it was because they're running out of my house. I, you, 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 every, you just saying things so flippantly, and it's just. It's normal for me now, it is. But I can't wait to fucking get away from it all. There's, there was like, (laughs) there was like a movie, I can remember this, and then, and the person could, like, Whoopi Goldberg, and they were like coming in and out of the room. Yeah. Isn't that right? Am I thinking the home with it? I with it. You're right. Yeah. So now you're right. And I was like, when you were telling me that, I was visioning this, they was coming in and out, and you're like, I yeah. need to switch off. I need to, like, would you fuck off? Yeah. Why are you like telling the ghost to fuck off? Get out of my room. You know, it can just come in at any point. You have no privacy. It's terrible, too, whenever they come to me and they get to blame me everything. Because if I'm not having a good day, it becomes their fault. And I think that's really the way I deal with it, really. And then, have you had any, like, crystal clear you knew that person and you've had to, like, speak to the partner? Like, that woman, you didn't know that was her no, partner? No, till no, I didn't all know. Clicked? No, no, I didn't know at all. Yes, loads of times that's happened. Like, Does it not honest. freak you out? No, no. Completely comfortable? No, completely comfortable, to be honest. And I'm not, all, I'm not fully aware of it. Like, to be really honest, I try to shut it off. I know I'm not, like... Like, for example, that Stacey thing that happened yesterday, it took for that to happen. As well. If I'd have been a bit more switched on or not distracted, I would have maybe felt it before then, before... It's just weird. And uh, why do you think you... 
truthfully, because I think every now and again there needs to be a great man. All the other men that I know and all the other men that are connected around me all live with women or all living off women are all connected to the earth. They're all wired into the motherboard. Directly wired into it, mommy's voice. And I feel like by me standing on my own two feet and being able to grow, it's allowed for greater consciousness of man. You know why women get together and they hold everything, they think about everything, they feel everything. Men are allowed to have a shared consciousness in it now too. Divine, divine masculine, we'll call it. <laughs> no, no, no. That was rough and I break up. I was there. like, you knew, you've been asked that and you knew we'd asked you that. It, uh, so you think a woman is taking Hold away? Hold the pot. Will we fall out of a woman when you think about it? True. They're thought. primal. They are primal because they bleed. They are. They've got a portal. So you think, so it's woman's. What we're experiencing as a female earth, we are. We are living inside a woman. <laughs> and that's why. where you're going with this. All the, when you tell your women, think it's like your wives know you better than what you think they know because they're witches and they can't say it because there's no words. How do you know my wife? How do you know the colour of witch? <laughs> <laughs> but so, but you go crying to her about everything. Eh. <laughs> know what I mean? She has no. to listen to it all. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? I probably, probably sometimes go crying to Sean about her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it, 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 look, um, I don't know. I, I, we've, we, we're definitely surrounded by a lot of powerful women. We are. Our, our mothers, our wives, you know, um, Sean's a daughter. It, uh, we're, we're surrounded by, by women and, uh, but that's a different view. I definitely thought I run my ship like. <laughs> See, they're very good at letting you think you run it. <laughs> is that, you know the, I mean? is that when, the when superior power to let think somebody, to well, let them think? It. Mankind doesn't know either, so you might want to edit that out. <laughs> man doesn't know what he's really with. I, there's a lot to take in, Glenn, here. There's They're a like lot. Terminators, too. See if they don't like one man, they'll get him in the end. If a woman wants a man, she'll get No, him. meaning like she'll have his head on a barbecue in the end. <laughs> Honestly, one man does be bad to one woman, and he's bad to them all. It's if a man's bad to a woman, mm-hmm. he's bad to all. He's bad to I, them I'm, all. I'm with you in that. Yes, I, he is. When you affect one, you affect them all, and they all know. It's built into them. It's weird. It's because they're so primal. <laughs> so then... I don't know, we're going into... She's basically a calculator and a combine harvester. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So are you are you pro-woman? Are you... I'm pro-women, yeah. I am. I want to see women elevate it. But call them a combine harvester and a Casio calculator. <laughs> <laughs> what a woman can do be a seed's nobody's business. You know what I mean? All right, well, they're, they're powerful creatures. Now, that, uh, it's weird because you're saying this and it's putting us in a, in, a, in, a, in a funny, because I don't even know how to come back at you with that. So you feel that you're more aware of this because you're not connected to a woman. That a woman. I feel like if I was in a relationship with a woman, if I had got divine blood on my penis, then I would have been imprinted on, like all other men around me, therefore controlled. And the second I procreated, bye bye, so. So it hasn't happened. I'm very lucky. I don't want to be a presumptuous claim, but I didn't think that was your intention. Well, it's energy. It's energy. Think about energy. Right. If I had procreated, if I had been selfish and plugged right into the earth by using my penis, then I didn't get far in the route, did I? I plugged right back in the second I, do you know what I mean? And I've been round and round and round that many times now. Always spinning. <laughs> my, like fucking, black. my fucking head's spinning here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, right, okay, right. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're, we're, we've asked you, and I don't know to really get my head around that because I'm not a hundred percent sure of where that is because quantum consciousness. Yeah. So I am I am I no minded. I, I actually thought I was like becoming more. No, but men are very selfish. You just don't talk about feelings and emotions. If a girl goes through something, they all go through it. They all feel it. They all hog the emotions. But men are like, mm, sorry. I feel like you you you're like you can discuss men and you can discuss women. Where if I was to like to, it would be offensive. I and, yeah. and 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 like you you you're in this like unique position where you can be like. Throw shit that way and throw shit that way. <laughs> but so then, okay, then you had the. That's how you feel like you. you well, not you feel like that's why you uh, think that you have this here subconsciousness or this conscious. And then you've then had a calling that this you, you could help people with. Yeah. Or you had to get this out. You had yeah. to tell people. Well, I couldn't always express myself or communicate. And through readings, I learned to communicate. So do, do people come to you? Do they do it on phone? Can you do Mostly it? they come to me, but I do do video calls as well. Can you get the same 
reading and the, the feeling from somebody uh, over the phone, yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely, yeah. You can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, sorry, what is a reading then? What does it what does it entail then? A reading is basically a breakdown of your energy and where you are now on your life path and based on what you want. Truthfully, that's where it is. Because if like you're happy and bliss right now, you'll not need a reading. It'll not have no effect. But if you know there's things that need to change. I, I've never been to a reading. I don't know what it entails. But like, is it a reading of the hands, a reading of cards, a reading of me just as energy, a Energy, yeah. Energy? I do use cards, but it's more energy. Energy yeah. is the most raw way of doing it. Like, mm-hmm. And readers will avoid that by using cards and all. But really, you can't escape someone's energy. Is there bullshitters out there just coining her in? There is some out there. Now, we we'll have a lot of really talented mediums and things here. But there's definitely some out there that... Will gladly take your money and bring your loved one through all fucking day. All day, all day, all day. What happens if you get to heaven and you need a medium to get in? You know what I mean? God will not be happy. Have you uncovered ones that are, are no, doing this? I, no, but I just know by the energy. I know by the energy too. I'm not meant to always just be a medium. The fortune telling side of it's so important because it's life. Well, I then, shouldn't really talk about death because it's up to God. Although it can do it, doesn't mean it should. So, so. You still are a god for imagine your I brought, Imagine I brought someone through here for you now, and that was what it was all about, and then they went home with you. And it turned out it wasn't really the person that you thought it was at all, but you know what I mean? And I can't be responsible for that while humans are naive. I can't. <laughs> well then, so right, let's jump into it. Can you read me or Sean? I, I would say I'm easy read. I can read you a wee bit more. Like, you are happier now than what you've ever been, but you struggled a lot, and I feel like you still struggle quite a lot. But there's something about you that needs your bread buttered a certain way. You're very mothered. You are. You think so? Yes, a wee bit. (laughs) Just a wee bit. And it puts your head away a wee bit sometimes, and you don't realise. Well, I'm looked after. Fucking bang on, if you ask me. You left your mother to marry your wife. (laughs) (laughs) Right? Hit me up. You um, need to take better care of yourself than you do. Oh. And not just, it's mind as well. I feel like mind, all right, mind, your mind's very important. I feel like you think that you're not educated, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like your mind's starting to spin faster as you get older. You'll probably end up writing a fucking book next. You know what I mean? But you need to get it out, whatever it is. Because I feel like you're quite muffled too, in a way. Where like, this is why this is good for you. Because you're able to speak. He's always been good at talking. I know, but shite, but. Hey, uh, shite. Absolute dumb. But I am actually... Gonna, I've, I've said. Is there twins connecting to you too? No. There's two that are very alike. No. Females. Two females. Probably like. No. Not that I, I'm saying no, but. Not yet anyway. Jesus, do that. <laughs> Don't tell me that. <laughs> Someone's gonna get more than what the bargain for, I'm telling you. Somebody is. I'm number two. In the family. It, they are. I'm telling you. All oh, right. In the fa- well, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but does not me. <laughs> and well, you don't have a whim, do you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I could contribute to one. <laughs> so, uh, and then. You should do a competition win a whim. <laughs> <laughs> I would fucking go for it. I would, and then I could choose it and get the wee baby, you know what I mean? <laughs> Jesus. I'm not 100% sure we can do that. He's could there's, raffle There's a lot of ethics involved in this, uh, you know. And I would raffle anything that would go, but uh, that we'd have to we'd have to see. But uh, so then. Tell me, does it does it consume you sometimes? Then it drains that fucking life out of me. You go into the 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 yards there in the road out, and then you just does anybody ever just you get a real like dark sense? Yes, and usually I bite my tongue and just because it's those situations that I can't even get involved in. You can tell somebody something, but doesn't mean they're going to listen. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't mean they're going to be received the way you want to be received. And sometimes people are. The only way I can describe it is too disconnected from Earth for me to have an impact. I'm an Earth being. I can only get you if you're touching the ground. I mean, so people need to be ready to hear what 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 you're, you're definitely and some people's life path are incredibly set that you can't alter it. Like most people, you can, but most some people you can't. I well, and that I, racks me. That hurts me. That really fucking boils me. So it conflicts an awful lot. Like so, it. You, you do alter them by what you tell them. Big you. time. Oh my God, I'm like a magician, basically. It is a magician. You go to the magician and the magician gives you what, whatever it is that the magician gives you. Because we're asking, I'm, well, I'm, we're asking questions here because we're, uh, we're not obviously, I'm obviously not that aware. And some people will be, 
like you know this, Glenn. Some people are like that's full of shit, or we're all yeah. full of shit, and we're sitting here and 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 just yeah. they're nearly as scared to even give it air. They're nearly as scared yeah. to turn around and say, "Oh, uh, well, what you know?" Actually, if you had to come to me a couple of years ago and go, "Oh, I'm gonna give him reading," I'd be like, "No, don't be giving me a reading." You yeah. know, like like it was gonna like it was gonna do something to me. Yeah, yep. And I, and I genuinely think a lot of people are still like that. They are. Oh, they are. They Where definitely are. I have actually said, as we've started doing the show, whatever people come on, we're, we, we're open to everything. We're, we're closing their mind off to nothing. You know, I actually genuinely believe, and the more we've done that, the more I find you grow, and the more you do yeah. start to realise things. And Well, that's it. We should never force beliefs on anybody. But you sound like you're saying that. Well, I got my own beliefs. Nobody's getting them. Think what you like. Know what I mean? Nobody. I I reckon they couldn't turn you in a field. You, mm. If you're set your mind on something, that's your. I know. That's my mind. I know. I on the inside, I know what's right now more than anybody can ever tell me. It's bigger on the inside than what it is on the outside. And where do you see it going for you, Glenn? Well, we'll see you on TV shortly. Yes, TV and things like that there, but I don't know. I think I'll, I'm always going to be a reader, but I'm really scared of turning into an Ostradamus type of character. I'm scared of that because then people are constantly like fix my life, but. I'm open to like doing anything, and I still love being creative. I I get the feeling that you you are definitely made for to be out on the TV or the, the yeah. stage doing it. You have the personality for that. Maybe I'll get on a new game show as a host. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd know the answers before we were doing them. <laughs> but the, the, so what have you, what what you, you obviously do your reads and people come to you and do you, well. Let's put it in our way. Do you ever, like, does your friends ever, they get a new partner and they come around to you and they're like, well. I don't fucking like him. Right, I don't like him because if you've got to ask me, yeah, it's not good. It is not fucking. And or I, maybe they don't. I've learned maybe they don't. Because a good friend of mine, she was fucking warned, her niece, and she was warned, like, I felt it right away. And then I'm hearing six months later that somebody has got a broken arm and all, and it all fell out. I says, I knew he was a bad bastard the second I seen him. Well, tell me then, have you been in relationships that have went that road? I have. So how do you are. not see that? And that oh, he set you up for that one. For me, I oh, was it? And I actually want to talk about that because, do you know, it was following silly fucking angels that led me there and I nearly fucking died. And it was weird. I got bit in the neck. I went out with somebody, we went to Magaluf and he bit a chunk out of my neck. And I've been praying to all these angels. What do you And Uriel, what, these what two. What do you mean? He just. He bit me on the neck, like bit, bit a chunk out of my neck. And spat it well, you, you were fighting or something? Well, no, I wasn't fighting anybody. I was trying to escape. To be honest, I know, I know. Right, that's as crazy as fuck. It was like a bar. That was. He literally attacked. <laughs> yeah, mauled. He, he he attacked you and attacked bit you. me. He bit me on the neck and spat it. And these two women saved my life, and they said to me, "Glenn, who is Uriel?" And I had been praying to Uriel, but see, to be honest, Uriel and Michael fucking got me in that, that position. Red flag. Oh, listen to the angels. No, listen to your fucking gut. I had to learn, I had to go through it, but it was when I was study at the time. <laughs> you said So you knew it was gonna go the wrong way. I didn't know that was gonna happen. No. I know well you no. wouldn't have been there, but they're obviously But I kept getting anxiety. I mean I remember when I first met him popping a wee fucking yellow and all because my nerve my, I was feeling fucking something and I chose not to listen to it because I thought it was going on like Kathy Bush. You know what I mean? And then uh, well obviously that got physical and, and the, the He killed the dog after it. What? I learned that he killed the dog a few years later. Your dog or his dog? He, well, just a random dog at even party. Matthew threw a priest block and it's head. Jesus. I know I'm laughing now, but that's nerves. That could be my head. You know what I mean? What the fuck? Anybody that can hurt an animal, I know. even if you don't like an animal, I know. Should be, in, should be locked up. because. And that put me off ever being near anybody who really drinks or takes drugs to the point where they can't control that. I can't be around that in a way. Because I don't believe he would have did that if he had been sober, to be honest. Mm. There definitely was an element there. He just sounds like a fucking bad con. Yes. Jesus Christ. It's so like how, anybody's bad, but but are. well, there's an evil, there's an evil there. And so, do you feel betrayed that you didn't pick that up? No, I had to learn that lesson, and from then I probably never raised my voice to anybody. I, I'm not desperate to be in a relationship. I would not have anybody shouting at me, but I had to go through that. And that very transition, see, when that happened, it was like it was done. Everybody knew, but it was like, and it was like, I could breathe. It was weird. I because. And it didn't hurt. It was no pain. I didn't feel anything at all. It was weird. Nothing. We're we're all we're all a victim of the environments that we've went through. So yeah, the, like you, you, 
whatever it is. Well, my daddy know. would have probably been very strict with me growing up. I definitely got a slap or a punch if it was bad. And I think, in a way, I played up to that because I enjoyed it. And then I attracted it, which was even fuck, more fucked up. There's a lot of, if you see it, there's a lot of ones that their parents hit them when they were younger. And they says they used to play up because it was the, the yeah. only time they got the attention. Yeah. Even whether it was physical or it was that you were getting attention. Yeah. But you enjoy the attention. I love the attention. <laughs> I remember they put me they put me in detention in school. I'm telling you, fuck, she never did that again. I went home. <laughs> I went home and I told a wee, just a white lad was that some man tried to pick me up in the cavalier. The detective and all came and every my dad and everything this day believes that it happened. And uh, <laughs> I swear, I, he doesn't know. Wait a minute. Know. But he watches these podcasts. So you were like, oh, Are you, you watching the detention? Sorry, Dad. The teacher was crying. So and everyone you, crying. She never should have kept me in detention. For about a fucking three years after, your dad was probably driving around. I got bullied walking home on my own. She didn't know what the fuck she was doing. You know what I mean? But she didn't do that again. <laughs> I had a very fragrant imagination. I, I'm getting that. But so you went to them that somebody was picking you up in the Cavalier. And I'd say your dad's only found this out now, but he's probably driving around for three years looking for somebody in a fucking Cavalier. The police know, right? The police know. Oh all, my God. All, How all, far did you go in this story? <laughs> well, you see, I was the only one ever put in detention, really. No, but I mean, how far did you carry it? When the police come, did you say, oh, no, look, listen? No, I what? never, I never ever didn't. Oh, you, you stuck, you stuck, I stuck you to my guns. You were doing the drum. I you were doing the drum. Stuck my guns. <laughs> He's about five I stuck eight. to my guns. And when I seen that teacher crying that morning, that next morning, I when I seen those tears come down her face, I knew she'd never do it to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Can I, get, can I recap this? <laughs> a teacher put you in detention, she so did. you made up this story that a man in the Cavalier tried to pick you up and then... The police came and she was crying and you're like, fucking jackpot, job done. Her name was Lisa Grant, the teacher Lisa Grant, it was, she was English now, and I like the girl, she wasn't bad. Oh, God, But she just her. shouldn't have put me in detention like that, oh you know what I mean? Jesus. Is what were you in detention for? Something I probably didn't do. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure I believe that no, one. but right? I had to walk home, you know, like half an hour later, just know what's happening. It was a wild inconvenience that hour detention, was, you know. It really was. So, <laughs> oh, that is She never put me in detention but, again, never. <laughs> Well, I thank God because some man would have got lifted. <laughs> Who would have been next? <laughs> but <laughs> had a flagrant imagination. I love it. <laughs> so then, <laughs> uh, so you obviously didn't really enjoy school. I could do it. I had a laugh. I did. I definitely did. And when I went to Castle High, it was mixed. And I had a really good time in there. And then I got fucked that air tight. So. so it it was. And then what was your first school? Cars Glen Primary School, then the Boys Model, then Castle High, then Pathways. Where's Pathways at? Pathways was a group that you went to in fifth year. Right. In case you were going to get excluded. Okay. And uh, so then what did you say? What did you go on to do? You knew then you, you were a medium or you had that ability or was it only as I you got I was very touched when I was young. Meaning like the demons could just influence me. Like to be honest, it was a demon in my head that told me... Get your own back on her for doing that on you. Tell them that they did this. Take that car registry and put it in your head, remember it, and say it. You give them a registration. The first three numbers. Oh, I swear, me. the first three numbers. And it told me. I tell you now. Something told me. Oh. Glenn, you're clever. You're more clever than this. And <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, fucking hell. Well, guys, just so you know, we are not recommending if your teacher detains you to fire out uh, a, a Listen, a person. I had ADHD. She shouldn't have been doing it. What was she thinking? <laughs> Anything could have happened. Well, Glenn, then you you obviously know uh, people that are watching this. I was only in P5. You know what I mean? Like, I was only young. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> worse, you know what I mean? I was only literally in P5. Like, well, you had a very flagrant imagination for a I P5. I did. I definitely did. And then tell me, so at what point then do you know then that this is your call? That this is what you want to do? Later on in life, I used to be a photographer and I loved it too and it was very good, but halfway through it, everybody was just coming up to me and asking me for a reading. It just, it happens, people just are drawn to me. So it was organic? It just, it's organic. It just guy. happened? Yeah. And, and I had my page actually, I have had my second Glen page on Facebook, built since 2012, but I only named it Glen like two years ago. I was hidden before I was sturdy like, do you know? Did you? D- I was too scared to let people know it was me. Hey, because that's just what I'm saying. People are very presumptuous and things. They are. Have See, people got, really shouldn't fucking presume anything. Have you? Do you get much negative feedback on? No, but it's because I don't do the whole medium thing. I think it's because I don't go on and on and on or try to change people's beliefs or 
Do you know what I mean? You've got to be real. If I did, if I got a whole lot of hair, I wouldn't be doing it. I swear I really wouldn't be doing it. But I, I, I get the impression that you get from you that you'd be like, you don't care. No. So it, it's like, what what the point? You you know, you're, you, you, you don't even... I don't think you felt hurt. You just no, both. I don't. I definitely don't. And for me to have an emotional reaction to something that means things start to happen. That's the witchcraft part. So I try not try to be numb to everything. Do you double in that? Well, I'll tell you now. Someone did piss me off. I'm not going to say who, but someone did. And this hurt me. It even happened. This is where I was even annoyed at the goddess energy argument. Should have been professional. It wasn't. I was really annoyed. Six months later, our office burns the ground. And you put that on her? No, I didn't put it on her. No, but I was hurt and I was upset. And she disrespected a certain goddess part of me that hurt me in more ways than what she know, and I knew she would never do that again. Well, fucking damn right. But that, I was sad to see that even happen, and I even reached out to her and was offering her equipment and things. And all Were you sad just, or guilty? Because you no, feel like you had no, a... No, I wasn't guilty, no. No. No, no, but I mean, was there a certain part... Because you obviously linked how you felt to what had happened to I her. had strong emotion. So I had strong emotion towards it. I did, and I was furious. So I'm not going to say who, because I'll give it all out of the bag. I'm not going to do that. I would never do that. But don't ever fucking try to hinder anything <laughs> creative. Anything creative that I'm doing because I'm telling you now, it's Yo. not going to happen. I had to do so. I have had to that say something That was the virtually. best roundabout threat I've ever seen. I'm not saying I did it. I'm not saying I didn't I do didn't it. I didn't do it. Somebody was arrested for it. Of course I didn't do it. I was in my bed. I but. But just life did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's why I try not to have an emotional reaction to things because honestly... Even someone that really bullied me years and years and years and years and years ago, they're dead. And I ain't God, but it makes me grateful to be here. It's true. It is true. It is so true. It is. It you is know, you put it in the world, did you? Uh, you know, but I'm getting... It, it, well, like, again, I'm not plugged into the earth, am I? Yeah. I? There's more value in my soul because it's spinning round and round and round. What else will it achieve so that we all achieve it? But then you're saying to me there, it, you would do a competition to, to rant or room. So would that... Plug you back into the earth then if you had a child? Yeah, it wouldn't be all about me anymore. Right. And okay. I think then... Because at 100% when it... I went, would have to surrender myself. I totally would. So you you, you think you, you'll have to come to that crossroads where... Well, I'm going to adopt children one day, but I just feel like I've had been a selfish man. Oh my God, still sucking on a tit now. Feed me. I wouldn't be the smart man I am at all. I spat it on the out. I, I'm with you. I think women have... Dumbed us all down. <laughs> They've but, allowed me to grow, so they have. So, it, uh, so you know, it's funny you're saying that. So you're like, don't cross me. I'll fucking burn your place down. But I didn't burn your place down. No, just try not to make me have... But, I try not to have any sort of reaction towards things because intention and heart never hangs everything. If, and it wasn't even me. She offended. She offended something much higher than me. If I talk about goddess energy and being very, very serious, it's not me. It's something beyond me. It's every one of them. What, what's goddess energy? The bigger part, the bigger bitch on the inside of them that they don't like to admit, but why women keep their mouth shut? Because they're scared of the voice on the inside ripping the head of them. There's a bigger bitch on the inside of them controlling them. There's, there is. There's, and they can hear her voice all the time. They're terrified of her. They don't like her. There's a lot for me to process, Glenn. And I know I've said to you I'm open to things, but fuck, you're taking me on a hundred mile an hour journey here. So it's you, like being wiped out, isn't it? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, and, and I'm genuinely, I'm not shooting it down because I'm just going through it with you here. But you just, you, 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 your conversations are so flippant and you just like throw this like curveball. It's just goddess energy, right? Is that a different level of energy? Is that a different? And this, this woman then has insulted that. Well, no, she just hurt my... F- she insulted that part, yeah, yeah, because... If, if, if... I created something that was all about that energy, and this person didn't understand that, in fact, tried to laugh at it. Well, no, she didn't laugh at it, and she will never laugh at it, and she will never be able to laugh at it, because it controls her. She didn't realise there's a pecking order, and she thought just because I was a man that she could disrespect me like a man and treat me like a man, it didn't work that way. Bang. And it wasn't me that did anything, it was the female energy that did it. Very protective of me, it is. And that's why I'm not paranoid or I'm not scared or anything, because I know even them two women saved my life that time when I got belt. I am always safe on this earth. So they come in. They just appeared. They just appeared. They just appeared. And they'd heard everything. They were down the stars and they'd heard it all. They just appeared. Where are we at? Megalife. BH Mallorca. Oh, fuck. I know. And then all he did was fucking drink too. It was terrible. Do you have to head home with that person? Uh, no, well, I didn't. I headed, headed home on my own. I was gone like. It's terrible. 
really bad. It was really bad time. But it was spiritual too, well, I, I was thinking about it. Because I was going, I was meant to die there. Them demons are laughing, they wanted me to go there and they wanted me to die. And I seen where I could have died and all. And like mommy and daddy were in a different country and everything and all, I could just see it. And it was just weird and it was just, I don't know, if them girls hadn't been there, something else would happen. Do you feel like you're still learning? Or do you, have you mastered it or was that? I you? know what, I'm not naive. I'm certainly not naive, I know that now. I wish I was, I wish I was naive enough to be innocent again that way. But now I know, now I know and I can't, I can't be foolish again sometimes. So do you, is it hard to, to let men into your life or what Big way? Time. So it's not hard, but just nobody really understands it. Nobody I, and nobody understands I'm very sensitive either. You know what I mean? Because I, I do get. And, and, I'm just a sensitive person. I am like a girl on the inside. I am. I feel different things. I have emotional intelligence. Men don't. Men don't. Not really. Well, they do, but usually it's their mother. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know all that girl conversation around the table that goes yeah. on all day. The, and if, and uh, you, you, you start in the middle of it, you're half asleep. But you're. And that, and so that you're, you you say that you're more feminine, you're more in touch with that. I can read the way they're speaking because they talk like all this. We are even like moving their mouth. They actually speak using the whole facial language they do. And I'm very fluent in that too. <gasps> I, I normally call that bitch talk. Like, you know, when they give them the evils, like women can put, like, it, and uh, one thing I'll tell you, like women are wild for picking up. Like if, if another woman, men aren't so, men just are like more territorial of, an our man comes over to speak to the woman, it's not so much. You can't really, you would probably just think everyone's down. But women literally see our women and they pick up on them. They pick up a vibe from them. They pick up what they're going through and everything. And they'd be like, mm-hmm. she was flirting with you. And you're like, so men out there, if you're out there and you're treating your woman badly, believe you me, when you're out with that woman and her energy's low, the other women, every one of them can all see exactly what you're doing to her. In fact, they're allowing it, you're allowing you to send, they're allowing you to actually kill her if you like. But you'll pay. You'll pay for it all. That's what art's like. Uh, it is. You, and it brings fair game. You time. should actually literally work for like Woman's Aid or something. I know. I know because I you should. put, and you're like, I don't want to say that someone's burnt down. But I'm starting but to fucking place my burn. I'm starting to love men a wee bit more. I am because I, I was at the mindset of but men do nothing for me, never. And then I met Dave Valley and got he got me on his podcast and all, and then I met you and all. And I mean, so men are trying. His is brilliant. I, I, he's very funny, yeah. Dave, yeah. Dave, I just need to get him he's, on. He's, he's, he's a like a drier sort of. He is. He's very funny. It's facial expressions. <laughs> so then, and you've been on them. Obviously, the, this is the best one. He said that to me out there. But anyway, it uh, people enjoy it because you there is no filter. Like no, it is. There's just, no filter with me. There's no backdoor with me. There's nothing. And that's why I'm like well, you earlier when I'm trying to process this. I was like, this man ain't. You ain't making this. This is just coming straight out. Like he just goes from one thing to the next thing. Then you're you're back, right? We're going. We're we're, we're in circles here. But so obviously, then that's made a massive. Somebody attack. Anybody that's yeah. attacked, it'd be very hard to open up. And yeah. then, but if you have this different type of awareness, how do you open up? And like, how do how, do you need to meet an R medium? No, I get it to the people that are read. To be honest, especially women, I would say I get, a, I get it from. But no, I don't really get readings a lot. If you met an R medium. I'm friends with a lot of mediums. But I mean, do you like, know each R is before you like, talk? You get that vibe? Like, is it like sometimes, two magnets coming close together? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Sometimes, yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, at least they can understand more what you're talking about than... Than, than the person standing next to me. Yeah, yeah, family and all doesn't really understand. It's hard. People don't understand it drains you. It's energy. And it actually leaves you with nothing some days, you've nothing left. I find that hard to believe for you. Nothing, nothing left. Because you are fe- seen like a man runs up here all the time. I know, but it goes, it dips away down. <laughs> I crash. So then, what is the, do you have like a cutoff point? Too many people, I'm not taking any more readings or mm. I, I'm, I, I've only so much emotional group, energy for this. Goodness, I don't like to do any more than 10, but sometimes I've did like 15. That's too much. The more sometimes it can go on and on and on. Honestly, sometimes if I have no energy, it gives me energy. But do you get a group of ten? Trying to get a bad fucker in the middle of that, or maybe you're sitting mm-hmm. here and you're like the, that Sean boy. There's that always boy. one that's like really crying and crying and crying and all. But I could not do that if it was always people crying. So there's always one crying. There's always one like. <gasps> there's always one that like. I don't know. You see one leaving quickly because they're going home to tell the husband. Or and it's always the same. It's like that. I I always thought, and I'll be honest with you, I always thought that... Because it's like a family, no grief's ever in the same place either. It's not. 
they all feel differently and that's why it's different for every person. Have you ever talked any grief on me? All the time. I yeah. constantly, I'm constantly grieving and I have to transmute it and recognise they are alive and we need to be grateful and thankful just because we can't see it. Stop being jealous because they're in heaven. You know what I mean? It's true. Yeah. It, do you get people that they've lost somebody and they didn't, they then come to you and, and they want all these answers, especially, especially in the likes of suicide or something like that, where there's so many unanswered or an accident, where there's so many unanswered yeah. questions that that it, I always find, and and we're going to do one on suicide, it's so, so prevalent here, and I have always found, I've went to some of the talks, it's the questions that haunt yeah. the people. It's the unanswered questions. Yeah. Do you ever get that? And and but there there comes a desperation with that that they need answers and they may not have been like they may not even have considered medium. Or I don't like desperation because desperation is a needy human trait and I t- tend to shy away from that. But if it's there and it comes and it's genuine, I give it. I can't deny it. Then I can't not. And but I try to avoid. Have you ever situations. been fit to help in that? Always, always. But it's very draining and it's only a temporary sort of bandage, really. It is me temporary because you can't take away grief. You can't. And that, that racks me too. I wish I could, but you can't. Grief can never... This no, is one thing we discussed. Gr- grief, you, you can live through grief. You yep. can learn to live you after. You can't take it away. You, you, In fact, you wouldn't want to take it away. It's very important. It uh, serves a very important role. And, and, and a lot of the people then I've spoke to that have... Not, they're just at a different stage of their grief. They'll always yeah. have that fleeting moment where they're, they're hurting and, and the thing. But they, they always say it's like a mirror put back together. You know, you put it all back together, but you still know yeah. that it's not never what it was like to experience yeah. it. But that, it, it, because that's what I got from it, and that was ghost as well. That the, 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 yeah. it was a very romantic and a very fantasized and and yeah. thing. When I was like, like it can be beautiful, like a, like it can be. When you're asking me, that, it's making me think about a scenario where a woman came whose husband had passed away, and I had to tell her it was alright to move on and all, and blah blah blah, and like those sorts of scenarios, like love is eternal. It can be really corny like that sometimes. It can be really There's sweet. a lot of power in that there. Because, like, say if you didn't get much of a reading or much of a vibe yeah. and she, you knew that this was what they were yearning and longing for, like, is it an evil thing to turn around and say, they said it's okay? No. In fact, that's my job. I have to tell them it's okay. No, no, no. But, like, if you didn't even get that vibe. If, if you actually got a vibe that they're behind going, no, and you're like... See, to be honest, it's humans that are selfish, not spirit, and we don't understand that. We don't want to understand that. We want to think that they're crying for us in heaven, but they're not, really. So they're remembering us, but they're not crying for us. Aye, but that's what I mean. Like You, you, know you, I mean? you, you, you can't play God there. No, you. and that's where, if I did, I think I would get in a lot of trouble spiritually. It would cap, it would give me lots of money, but nothing else. Ah, they'd, but they'd be fucking standing there haunting, saying you're lying. Mm-hmm. You're lying. They throw things at you anyway. It's terrible. They're not always like friendly. Sometimes it's just passing through, and it's like they just use you. You know what I mean? I'm just I just get used by them in a way. That's all why the, sometimes I draw the line. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just because I can feel it. Do you, no. You know what I mean? So right, we've been very happy there, and we're very thing. And one thing I've liked about some of the ones I watch, you're very comic girl, Glenn. Is comedy something that I love comedy? Is it an escape for you? Yeah, well, I don't even realise that I'm funny, but I like to have a laugh. I'm very light hearted. I like to laugh at myself. I'm never serious. And if you take me seriously, God fucking help you. Burn your house down? Not me. Not me. (laughs) Well, (laughs) something might. I blame Pythagoras because he's the one who fucking gave fire to man. And I think that was maybe me in a past life. I got to blame that too. You're you're very. So in the. It's it's funny because I would have always thought you wouldn't be golf fearing if you if you were into that and, and but you you've crossed a lot and you have you have Pythagoras and you have a lot of like the the, the ancient gods yeah. and and you're talking there you have a lot going on here I know there's a lot there will be a lot of tracking in this I'd I love know. to read your book my fucking head will be spinning for three weeks and God I do believe in God too of course you do I it's like all ninety par. God's God the Almighty part that deals with all the other things like I swear to God because it's not my job really. It's like we're in our office and we're all on our own desk. It isn't my job to run heaven or fucking say this person's getting out of that part because guess what? You'd be lucky if you get in. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I would love to see all the doubt. Right? See all the doubt but I'm running the mediums. It's okay if you go to a medium and you get a message. Great, take it to your grave, yeah. But don't keep running the mediums. Don't keep doing that because you're furthering yourself from heaven. You are. You really, really are when it's inside you. It's sad. <laughs> Like, I, I find it hard to give something, somebody something that's inside them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Okay. Aye, so you, you get people that just want more and more mm, and more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and then there's people that would go to 10 different ones. And that's where it becomes bad. That's where it becomes bad for the show, really. Bad for them. But, like, there's some of them give, like, real details. So, like, can yeah. you say, can you look at me or Sean now and what's in our What colour trunks you're wearing? Well, well. He doesn't wear any. Doesn't wear any, <laughs> I like it better. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, can you, like, what? what's in our future? Mm. Apart from being number one podcast show, what what else is in our future? There is something with horses, all right? And I don't know what this is, but there is definitely something with horses or something with equestrian. And there is also, you need to stay away from alcohol. You need to stay away from any sort of business related that would have alcohol or that sort. You don't need that. Everything business ways can actually be funneled through here. And but you're the type of person you think you, you want everything right now. And business itself is changing. We do not need to slug our tits off anymore to make a good bit of money. And that's what you're only grasping now. Have you got a boat too, have you? I have a boat. Mm-hmm. Do you get out on it much? No. You need to. Your boat's good luck, I would say. You need to name it, though. And you need to give her a magic name. You said it's a her. It's a her, yeah. Of course it's her. You, like, you know, sometimes people used to say, oh, when you say... Oh, I just got yeah. a deja vu there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna because I have had bad luck with boats. I sunk one on dry land. <laughs> but uh, no, well, fuck me. What else? What else? What? Uh, my goodness. Um, me, the bit? father's a very very strong influence, whether he's here or not. He's a very rare man, but he was very important too in his own way. But not as outspoken as you. But you're very like him. He's a bar too. <laughs> Big Paddy. Is he still the bar? He's, he, he's still the bar. He's still daddy bar. <laughs> daddy uh, bar's diabetic and needs something for his sugar. I fucking need to get him to check that out. Do, definitely do. Right? Over to you, Sean. What do you see in this man's future? Mm, well, you're very good looking, Sean. And I think <laughs> that your smile gives away Why everything. didn't you start with that with me? But you've got more female energy, you do. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're very female. Yes, isn't he more like... Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn so man. I would say you're a wee bit, not psychic, but... You're able to pick up on what's going on around you, even if it isn't said. But you um, aren't very organised. That's the other thing, you're not organised at all. I think I am. Really? Very organised, yeah. Are you? With help? Yeah. With wife's help. <laughs> I'm, orga- organized, I'm organised by my wife. <laughs> but you, you crack up. Like, you're good doing this creative. No, but see anything, like sitting in an office, doing it, no way. That's just not you. It's not you. That's so you find it hard to be shrewd. Being a businessman, you find it hard even to be like, you know what I mean? That's why, like, you need to be doing what you're doing now. Just, it's helping you grow. And about you, she's even said that you're in a better mood when you've started doing all this. He loves himself now, you. <laughs> no, she hasn't said that. Actually, uh, 100% think she No, she has I, I, I think even on Sunday evening she said that. Well, if it doesn't work, we can always start with only fans. <laughs> you know what I mean? What's that? Would, would you subscribe? I would. Oh, I would. Me and, you, me, and you, me and you could do some stuff together. All implied. All implied. Well, here. The, here's, hey, an hey, this out. here's an exclusive. The handsome stranger and Glenn have sat up in OnlyFans. And obviously, I must be a director because I have no face for it. <laughs> you have a real face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually... But that's what I'm saying, Glenn. You're, you're a funny guy, and, and I'd say you need that. I'd say if all that shit was going on in my head, I'd need a laugh. Yeah. I'd need an escapism. What is it you do for your downtime? What do you go... Podcasts and things, to be honest. This is sort of my downtime, doing things. I guess I don't really drink, and I don't really go out and party as, at all, really, at the minute. So I'm pretty focused on work. But I like to read and I like to write and I like to be creative in many different ways. I'm interested in the world, I'm interested in people, I'm interested in cultures. I don't like politics. You, is, is it weird now that, isn't it funny, when you couldn't do anything at school that they'd ask you? And that can do everything. And, and mm-hmm. 100%. And it actually, you feed off it, grow from it. You're like, oh, I want to read something, I want to... Uh, yeah. But when... And it was free to me and it was easy to me and my yeah. brain was better at accepting it. I just wasn't there like. But that so you don't you don't you don't drink, you don't not really no. How do you meet someone? I don't. I really don't and I haven't in a while, like. I'm on Tinder, like, but I haven't really met anybody you just and you see, I, 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 I met my wife before Tinder, which is nearly a good thing for me because apparently I've got a face for radio. 
and I rely on my character more than my looks. <laughs> so I, that's just what I don't get. But but the wee boys will all run away scared if they rely on my character. But this is what I'm saying in in the likes of of. Uh, I like men to be men. But that, but this is what I'm and saying. There's not a lot of men out there. Couple of good ones snatched up here, but tell me this here. Does it help being on these? Do you, people get to know you first? People ask for a reading. You're not feeling a bit used. You're like, yeah. at least take me to dinner first. Yeah. Especially when they're nice looking men. And I'll tell them want to come and talk about all their fucking boyfriend problems. Go away and die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. If you match with me later on. It's well, uh, I don't get jealous of that. You know what I mean? I because then you can tell about about their ex is no one here. That's not can you you can pick up people and that and that. that person that I was thinking of there he actually is very happy and and that's really what hurt me that day. I was like oh my god are you really is happy and I was like you need to get back with him and fucking sort it out seriously. So you met someone got a vibe that they were happier with the met someone he wanted a reading blah 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 he went on I said yes and then boom he went back to his I blast him. You feel like you made that happen. I did. He needed it to happen. He was floating about in space. I but he was a good looking guy and you just fucking. He lost was a good looking guy and he had a shit together too. Ah. Uh-huh. And I was like, fuck. And I, I, I <laughs> That's very rare. Uh, this is what I'm saying. Very, very rare. If you had a turn around and goes it's not bad vibe, it's not for you. Come on over Glenn and look after you. I know. But no, I didn't want to do that. Ah, it's a bit, what I was feeling. And I could tell he loved the person. It's a, ah, it's a bit shady, that shit. If you start if, I always say, if you if it's born in a lie. It'll end in a This is it. The truth's too much fun. So, also, not that we're, we're plugging Glenn's psychic page, but we're also plugging Glenn's Tinder here. Guys, yes, at psychicglenn, psychicglenn.com. If you need a reading, please check out my text service. Please check, check out my phone readers. Please check out my email readers. We're <laughs> going to be bringing services to you so you can chat to our readers online around the world. That's it. So that's good. So go into that more. What what's gonna meaning? Like if you've already had Marina Mayer, it's three o'clock in the morning. You can go online and speak to a dozen or more readers who are online. Get so your ring. An instant. Mm-hmm. I, I I know this sounds it's like a drive through reading. I, I, I'm not, but but what I mean is it's instant. It's instant, there. No waiting list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could phone right now and speak to one of my mediums. Try Lilith, she's very good, and get your reading over the phone. Brilliant. I like it. I like it. So there you go. What is it? Psychicglenn.com? Psychicglenn.com. And if you want to date Glenn, do not ask for a fucking reading first. <laughs> no. <laughs> Try and keep that shit out to yourself. Yeah. But like, sometimes it's hard too because you meet people all the talk about your readings. And I'm like, fuck the hell. I, do you think that becomes... It's like it's, wanting a doctor only because he's got a stethoscope. But all joking aside, you know like, you know... There's more to you. There's more to me. Yeah. You know, I, I made a joke one day... <laughs> <laughs> my mother-in-law someone introduced and said it was a doctor and then two minutes later you can see her over going what would you give for such a is it like is it like that it's like oh geez I have a I have a psychic here on yeah, top yeah. but it, it also if somebody was completely closed off and go no I don't believe in that bullshit could you work they're usually the people that end up believing the most to be honest in my experience I think you you see them as a challenge. No, I don't. That's too fucking. I'm not getting paid enough to challenge people. <laughs> As I say, I'm, not a, I'm not. I'm not a death coach yet. But then, is it harder now, Glenn, to meet people if you're not out drinking or out partying? Definitely, but I don't think our I'd want society's to meet completely in a bar Anyway, like as I say, I wouldn't even want to be with somebody who had to be out predominantly drinking all the time. What's that mean? I no, I get what you're saying, but. Even in a social scene like that, were you meeting someone back in the day? That's that's the only way. Well, they're know. allowed to smoke grass. That's it. So you, you're alright with that? I'm alright with that, I. We had a guy on here done ayahuasca. You ever hear that? Yes, I'm dying to do that myself. Well, fuck me after it. I was dying to do it too. Mm-hmm. There was a couple of sacrifices that had to be made before you done it, now, which I wasn't 100% keen on, but you know, yeah. you had to give up uh, drink, red meat, and sex for the whole thing. But I said it was alright, I was married. <laughs> sure. The red meat was hard work, <laughs> but the he he went out into the hills and took it. It was crazy ass yet like yeah. when when we were talking to him about. It. But you sound like somebody that would do that spiritual side of things. Yeah, you, yeah. a wee bit of LSD of a toad or I love LSD. <laughs> I do. I really, really, really do. In the last couple of times, it's been very healing. I, I but actually, there's a guy was uh, I was listening to, and he was talking about he takes mushrooms, magic mushrooms. And he's like, they, they give him afterwards, it, he, he feels like it's nearly like a, a flush out or like a, 
you know, like a cleanse. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that makes you feel better, it does. It lets it right. get completely out of his mind and loosen it in a different place and then come back. And then you wake up and you're normal. But I've never, I've never tried. Uh, I've What's never your experience been then with it? Aliens, Alien Soul Spa, Feng Shui Garden, all different experiences the last time they came out of the TV. <laughs> like, oh, there was a I Grand Theft Auto man. night, a Vice City night in my house because of the way it was all lit up. I don't know. Loads of things have happened. And, and your head takes you these places? Oh my God, yeah. It's brilliant. You're so open. Like, it's not like you, you just randomly throw this shit out. Now, my mind's like trying to process the, even the last bits and then we're like, I was in an Alien Spa Garden. Alien, alien Soul Spa it was. Soul That's spa. when they came out of the TV. It was like a soul spa. And then uh, Feng Shui Garden and then Safari Kitchen one time as well. And then there was been all different ones. It's always like, it's mad. Like I like Safari and all the other colours. It's do, mad. Like what do you do then? So you get, I, is it a tablet? Well, I've cried before. I've cried like a baby and everything. I, no, it's, I, I said it's a tab. It's a tab. You put it in your tongue. What do you mean? So, so uh, like a melting or? It doesn't really melt like. But right. you put it in your tongue and you let it. Let it drop, I think. I love it. See, I'm, it can I'm, be hilarious. It can be hilarious. Now there was this greedy wee bitch before at a party. I remember, give me one, give me one, give me one. Here's me right, and give one, give me an R one, give me an R one. So I give her an R one, and I knew that they weren't even the right ones because I had some that were powerful and I had some that were not that powerful. And I gave her the ones that were not that powerful. Oh, she ate four of them. She wet herself. She lay on that floor and she wet herself. The mind's a very powerful thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a fucking bladder it Jesus is. Christ It is So <laughs> So she yeah. took four Just lay down the floor She lay on the floor And herself She couldn't even move I don't know what the fuck Was going on What the fuck I just looked at The thing is too They were tucks They were tucks so she, just, so she just pissed herself I have seen people before Taking acid That's not even fucking acid And the next minute They're tripping You know what I mean Aye, but that, they call that the placebo, but mm. I'm not 100% sure the placebo She was a placebo is that the, night, she was. The piss my bow, fucking... She did. <laughs> she did. That's what she gets for being so greedy. <laughs> I don't like that, that's why I don't like cocaine. I don't like any of that stuff, because it's one line after another, get me an orb on me. And then sure, that just kills the crack. Aye. See if one, one wee bit, if something's not enough for you... Stop killing my buzz by asking for more because I can't deal with that. It's horrible. As we're asked, you've had enough when you've had enough. You know, you, you know, mate, there's no more. I mean, somebody said there one time, now I don't do drugs, so it, it, it's hard for me to actually discuss them because it's half of them I don't even know what to do and, and I don't know the difference between them. So I, sometimes, because I'm naive, I don't want to sound stupid. So I'm like, what's the difference in acid, or is that like the same as an eater? I don't know. Cocaine's for all the wee hard men. All right, yeah, right, yeah. I need a line to get a bit. They need cocaine. They carry it about, and what I what they call pure, they carry it about in pure form to get their hole. What do you mean? Because if they don't have a line, if they don't give the girls lines of coke, they'll never get no wanked sex. And I swear to God, this is why I'm glad I'm even gay. I don't understand it. So, well, this is where you take acid and you'll fly to the moon. Why would they need coke? To get to sleep with girls so what girls just They won't sleep with them Unless they get coke or what? Fellas sometimes Who take cocaine Need cocaine To even be in a room with fellas To be alright yeah. They need it to even speak Or to even look another man in the eye They need that line So they definitely need More than a line To take that girl to bed And usually that girl's along for the ride Sniffs the coke And fucks off home Confidence then? Yes mm-hmm. I you can't sniff confidence I I don't think I, I used to think I was born too early, but I I don't think so. No, that sounds like a shit show now. It is. It's terrible. You can't, you can't actually. Well, how do people even go up and talk to people now? I don't know. They don't. You ever walk into the bar? The face. Sitting in the uh, yeah. Aye, so they don't. I I get what you're saying. Like, like you, you know, at least if you you put a bit of effort in and you went up and had the chat. I find people who take cocaine are very safe. They work all week. They go out at the weekend and they hold on for dear life and back to work on Monday morning. Let's be safe again. Let's pretend to live. Let's pretend to take drugs, taking a fake drug. You would never take acid. Never. But what, so then what, acid, like, could you go and lock yourself away and take it? And, and you could, uh, you, it's the type of thing you don't really need other people around. You don't. It's a, 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 you know what? Unless you want to be taking care of people. I know we're like sometimes when I hear things I ask and all this here and I used to be like oh, I wouldn't bother with that shit but sometimes I'm like no fucking just say like just say it's documented like, everybody should try acid once in their life everybody <laughs> here but here do is that. here is a new medical look if you want some advice for your health everybody should try acid once in their life and sign except it's illegal. 
it's illegal. And Glenn does not know. But why is it illegal? Why is it so fucking legal? It is. It's more. It's the most illegal drug. Acid is. Mm-hmm. Is it like a, there's classes, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yes, and it's the type of thing too. Nobody will really. I could make acid come to me right now. See, I was think about it and think about it and think about it. It happened to me before where I was thinking about it and sitting partying and somebody walked right into the party and just sat at my tongue. And I was like to my friend, I told you, because you can make the acid come. It's in everything. It's in the trees. It's, it's a part of who you are. It's in your brain. But see, people who have acid, nobody will buy them. Nobody will like, nobody will, nobody will have them around them. Nobody will like, and you'll get bait black and blue for having acid too because you're not allowed to make people conscious. I have never heard of anybody with acid. No, exactly. No. Exactly, and you never. never and you never ever will. You and, never will. You, this is maybe the more like uh, closed off version of this, where we're like uh, in the toilet taking drugs that are taking cocaine. Like I just didn't realize there was actually a variety. And knocking into the part of your fucking nose, sure, but no. <laughs> Turns the life out of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Glenn, I know this one's different because we have asked you more about what it is you do and than and. and than on the daily, you more have the crack with the daily thing, but we just want to delve in to what it is you do, what the the weird and wonderful mind is going, going, it's crazy, but it sounds tiresome. I know it's quite humorous, and I, I choose to make it quite humorous, but most of the time there's a lot of depth in it, and there's a lot of like emotion in it, and it's a lot deeper, but I think for surface level it needs to be humorous, or else people are going to get, get the ick from me and go, he's a cringy bastard, he's going on like a preacher man. Know what I mean? No, I, and, and I do get, and I think we, we, we had a wonderful, powerful lady on here our, last week, and uh, she was saying that humour was her, you know, she's had a hard time, and, and humour was her cope. That was her yeah. family's go-to. And and I think w- this country is the best in the world for it. Like, genuinely, even through troubles and hard times and, and, and poverty and thing, there was always a strong comedic, like coping mechanism yeah. like even so much to say like you know you would see like they would write things and 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 like even out of tragedy like there would be not, and you'd never make light of things but i just think this country is is renowned for it yeah. and, and this isn't good or bad people would probably be like oh you shouldn't be saying this but i remember one day in belfast and i seen this big paint and it was the titanic on the side of it and it was just underneath it it turned around and said it's all right when i left us <laughs> <laughs> but it's the people that, here. Uh, it's never the people here. Word said. It's, it's, it's people here, and I know people now will be like, "Oh, you know, I know it was a tragedy." They should have called it the Tritonic because <laughs> it tried. But the, 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 <laughs> but you, but we, hey, well, this is us as a country. We built a museum to an absolute failure. I know. We our, our claim to fame is something that didn't last one maiden voyage, like that. To me, there has to be... love came along, so we have back from the days when we were out there digging for potatoes. Right, but it has to be, there has to be a level of where you turn around and say, right, well, we really shouldn't champion on that. That, that, wasn't, that wasn't good. But, Glenn, I have a lot to process here. I have said to you at the start here, me and Sean, have, uh, we're going to broaden our horizons. But... I just don't know whether... You've got more than a mouthful today. I, ju- I just don't know whether I could broaden them that quick. That You just... It, it seems like just randomly... You say, I'm all good on theory. I'm all good on paper. And then the energy's too much. It, uh, no, I've enjoyed it. I, I, I enjoyed it. I, I would say you're, you're, you're quite an intense character and it might not come across the thing, but you're quite intense. But you're, it feels like there's a good... You, you, you take a laugh with it. you're not yes, very definitely. you're not very sensitive to you know what people are saying that there or there's a lot of people don't believe in. I know. And a lot of people and are I'm just glad because it's not theirs to believe anyway. Listen, believe in what you like, it's mine. Cause all of a sudden then everyone's running about with crystals and all and fucking what? I should say clean I'll but do it all for set the fucking stage for you. What about I mean? any of the like black magic? Can you do that sort of Well I try not to really do anything really, because I have all the things I want. But you but were for other about people, I would when, do things, I would when, wish things. So, like, this is what I'm going to say. Like, you know, that there, that dark art stuff, like fucking mm. Ouija boards and voodoo dolls. and. Well, the dark is how you get to the light, really. So have you dabbled in it? Wee bit. Get, throw it out. Well, I have a Ouija board in my house, like. I've got a broomstick, I've got loads of different things. I'm not scared of it. There's nothing really in it, really. don't need to worry about it. And a Ouija board, like? No. Do they work at all? Well, yeah, yeah, they do work, like, but they usually just make a nuisance. But what difference is it? Someone like that, a, a, a spirit moving that round, and them just talking to you? 
Ouija board seems like Ouija beginner's like a, level. Like a doorway, answers. it's like a doorway, anything can come through. Anything. Also, it could be evil. Mm-hmm. It can make you depressed, get attached to you, make you sick. And that's sitting in your house wouldn't worry you. No. And then what about spells? You're saying no, but mm-hmm. I, I'm getting... I don't know how to talk about it. I don't know how to even speak about it. It's just Could you put a spell on someone? I can neither confirm nor deny. I'm putting you in the hot seat here. Can you, like, have you ever? I have considerable influence. Like, you, you didn't burn that place down. No, I didn't, and I would never have allowed that. I wouldn't have wanted that, but I can see that was a vicious goddess boom reaction. But if you if you put something really bad out, uh, you believe, obviously you believe in karma then. Mm. So karma is that where there is something working on a higher level than us. You put that bad out, yeah, it will come round to you in some fold. You yeah. will get back what you put out, yeah. So she put out something bad. She come got come back. Yeah, she yeah. engineered her own fire. Kind of. Definitely. That's definitely what it was because I didn't even write it up. I was just upset. Right. See, you do, do spells. I, think I didn't do anything. I was just upset. That's all. I didn't do anything. I was just upset. That's it. I think. That's all it needs to be. I think Glenn's got a cauldron. And he all it, I do have a cauldron. All it needs to be <laughs> is an emotional reaction. That's all it is. What it's do you emotional. mean? You have a cauldron. How do you call, used yeah. it? Proper well, job. Like. I use it to burn things in. And does it like what significance is a cauldron to a pot? Well, a cauldron you'll take it outside and burn things. I think there's more in this, and I think you're 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 a wee bit uh, more. It's funny how you will say anything, but you're more guarded about the darker side mm. of it because maybe you feel like you shouldn't be dabbling in that. It's not my place to teach anybody how to do anything or tell anybody how to do anything because we're taught magic's not real. And do you believe that? Of course not. Magic's real. Of course it's real. We had magic here last week. Did you? We had, uh, no, two weeks ago. Uh, magician. Yeah. Lee, a local magician. Yeah. I'm more into alchemy, more into real magic. I don't <laughs> like stage magic. Don't be fucking bore me that. <laughs> right? Well, Glenn, I, I, I've I, loved it. I, You've definitely open my eyes to the fact that my eyes are closed <laughs> I can't process so much of it but uh, I've really enjoyed it I've enjoyed your crack I've been, uh, hopefully you'll have me back on again very soon oh I, I, Glenn you need a show of your own say you said about the stage you said about a stage and it's just sticking in my head for some reason a stage do you yeah. see a stage for you do you see this for me guy yeah being more mm-hmm. yeah I do you're, you, maybe not I, doing mediumship though I, I but, could be doing that now already if I wanted, but I don't want to. But do you think that brings like an extra quality to to your showmanship that you 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 know you're more aware and you can play to people because yeah. you're, you're more aware and you're feeling whatever the room you're reading the room better, yeah yeah so that it will serve you better yeah are we going to see you doing any stand up or any shows near us anytime soon hopefully 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 yeah I, I hope so I think we're going to see you. Well, Glenn, I really, really enjoyed it. Thank no, you so Sean much. You're welcome. Thing, Thank you for having me on. It, uh, it's definitely been a, a journey, this one. So, Glenn, thank you very much for being here. You're welcome. You're welcome anytime. Is there anything you'd like to finish up on? No, psychicglenn.com or at psychicglenn. Follow me. Brilliant. <laughs>